I'm not going to be the one to, right, be involved. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. He's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming up. We took a little lunch break after the morning session. Morning session was pretty good. We didn't have big numbers, but we had big fish. We had some, we had some nice big channel cats. So we took a little break, then we went back out for the afternoon session. And Tim. There we go. Tim just northerned up. There you go. Okay, here, look at that. We got a good light too. Let me get a picture. Boom. Pretty soon it was nothing but absolute pike pandemonium for the rest of the evening, so. Yeah, one fish. Oh, he came off. He doesn't count. I gotta get another one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> totally airborne. Action is action. Fun catch. You've already tied your personal best catfish. Oh, whoa! And then you can get on a bunch of... Oh, he's going in that... Out of the eagle, I know! No, 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 no! That's fun. That's fun. Come here. Come on. Come on. Wait. We pretty much slayed the pike for a while. Slayed? Would you say slayed, Tim? Pretty much slayed. We slayed the pike. We definitely slayed. We got more than we could count. We doubled up at least twice, maybe three times. We might be doubled up on pike. And by might be, I mean we absolutely are. It was epic. So we're gonna go back out today and try to catch more fish. So we found ourselves having a lot of time sucked up by retying leaders because, you know, every time you catch fish, you'd have to retie a leader because they were tearing up the leaders, right? We were using uh, braided mainline and then mono leaders. So we wanted to switch to some steel leaders so we didn't have to keep retying. The problem was that it was so weedy that that swivel where we'd tie the swivel to the mainline, that swivel would pick up weeds I mean bad 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 right so that just that that wasn't working so I'm gonna show you here what we came up with that worked pretty slick so what we did was we took the leaders and then we we just clipped the swivel off so we ended up with a leader with no swivel right and then from there what we did was we tied an Albright knot and the Albright knot right you run through doesn't have his glasses. You run through that hole. All right, so you run through there once, right? And you bring it down. So you've got it run, you've got it run through there. Hopefully you can see this. Run through there, big long tag. And then, I'll, I'll put a link down to this, not below, but, um, and then you come back up, you basically are just gonna loop it down there and hold on to it and then start wrapping it around, right? And then very painstakingly wrap this thing around one strand at a time until you get to the very top. I'm sorry, I'm not doing <laughs> I'm so busy watching. So you see here, I'm just wrapping it around, wrapping it around, wrapping it around. It was important to get up as high into that loop as you could. And get it up as high as you can. And then it goes back through the loop. All right, back the way you came. And 
you can snug up that, that bottom end, we'll pull up tight, and you pull the whole thing up tight, and what happens is, then this becomes really smooth, right? So you've taken that loop on the leader and you've cinched it down with the knot, so there's, there's just barely, barely a little nub there. And once we did that, then it was smooth casting. Um, we weren't picking up a bunch of weeds on on that where we were tied off every time, and we didn't have to bother retying the leaders ever again. So we, we tied that not once, and then we were it. That was it. No more messing with them. problems but let's try and get a good shot here You know, it's supposed to be a catfishing trip, right, Tim? Yeah. But you know me, I can't stay focused. <laughs> I can't stay on task. <laughs> 